I don't think it's a glitch because it's happened to me before and it, it sort of makes sense because it's total damage in terms of of buildings destroyed so think about it like this Hey guys, Evan here, hope you guys are doing well and before I forget, in my previous video I forgot to highlight that we actually got to the level 3 clan mark. So the perks, as you can see, now we get a donation refund of 20% of the troop cost and then 10% war bonus extra loot. Now one thing that you guys have to keep in mind for that donation refund, if you guys saw my perk video, my clan perks video, I can go ahead and drop a link down below, but basically that refund is just automatic. Once you donate a troop, you'll uh, whether you spent elixir or dark elixir, then you'll just get a refund regardless of what the person who receives the troop does with it. Now he can go ahead and dismiss it, doesn't matter, but you'll still go ahead and get that donation refund. So hopefully that's clear. Go ahead and comment down below if you have any other questions regarding the perks. But other than that, um, I would say that most of it's fairly straightforward. The uh, donation troop upgrade, again, it's just based, based on the maximum level of the troops available. So say, you know, right now, the maximum level archers is level 7. So if you had a level 10 clan, the maximum it could get upgraded to is level 7. You wouldn't have, like, a magical level 8 or magical level 9 archers or anything like that. So in any case, um, I'm going to go ahead. That king is almost done upgrading, almost level 38. And then um, probably gonna have to upgrade the queen, start shifting around to upgrading her as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and collect the loot, mainly because now I'm over that 4 million mark, or over that 9,000 gold mark that I need to get the uh, the 4 million gold wall. So I'll go ahead and upgrade that, the struggle, and then I'm gonna queue up some troops for when I'm done raiding. And then after this, I'm actually gonna show you one more attack that I forgot to show you in the last video and it was a pretty heroic attack but first of all i'm just going to go ahead and do a live raid and we'll see what we can find on the uh wide world of multiplayer so this is actually a pretty decent base the amount of loot that i would get though doesn't seem to be that much for the amount of really upgraded defenses that he has so i'm actually going to hit next on this base but he does have single targeting infernos really tantalizing type base i would say but i'm gonna go ahead and hit next and see if we can find a similar base that with single targeting infernos but now look at this he has single targeting infernos not only that though he has a decent amount of loot over 100,000, and plus the loot bonus then that would be pretty sweet but that single targeting inferno as well as the under upgraded nature of all of his defenses pretty much so now just a quick check it looks like most of his loot is in his collectors based on those gold in the top right cart the uh, non ring at the bottom of the elixir collectors and then that black box on top of that uh, dark elixir drill so just trying to debate where i'm going to uh, drop my stuff but i'm probably going to do it bottom right side first then uh probably have to start freezing that multi-targeting inferno so oh, dragon in the clan castle that's going to be always fun i'm going to drop a free spell there drop a rage spell there and then now that the Lava Hound went down, now it's pretty much just a Balloonian type raid. So I don't really have to worry about a free spell there so much. Because those those multi or sorry, those single targeting infernos aren't going to play that much of a factor in the rest of the raid. But I do probably want to use a free spell right there. Take out that uh, wizard tower, that air defense, as well as that uh, expo set to air. But overall we kind of steamrolled that bottom right side of the base. Now let's see if we can pick up the extra loot in the form of the uh, elixir collectors and the dark elixir collectors. Once we did that, you know, we can care about trophies, but not, not too much. I actually changed up my composition. I have more balloons and then also dragon in the clan castle. So we're at that, that golden 70% right now. And um, let's see, dragon's starting to finish up the rest of that base. I could finish up that dark elixir drill as well, but just it really depends what I want. Do I want regular elixir? Or do I want that dark elixir? Um, sort of a tough choice at the moment. I would say, mm, I would say I'm just gonna go for the that dark elixir is not that much, 225. Um, I would say for the sake of maybe 14,000 or so elixir, I'm just gonna drop that queen down there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can activate her ability. But overall, not not too bad of a raid. We're gonna 
walk away with a good amount and with the loot bonus we'll go ahead and show you what the uh, final amount would be but the queen's doing pretty well taking down that expo and that king is a little confused perplexed and disoriented at the moment so he took down that gold storage and I think for the sake of saving some hit points of the queen I'm gonna go ahead and end the raid 82% and plus that 120,000 really good take home at the end of the day and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back to base I'm gonna go ahead and create some spells first and then I'm gonna show you a pretty pretty interesting attack uh, to close out this video so just uh, sit back for a few seconds and we'll go ahead and transition to that war raid all right so here is the raid as promised number four taking on number four a battle of wits and quattro lava lunion we have four lava hounds and we got some balloons minions and this is the perfect target for the quattro lava lunion attack if those multi-targeting infernos basically doing nothing to the lava hounds but the multi-targeting infernos are very very distracted uh, by the free spells as well as the rage spells that are bringing the balloons closer to the center of the base now we have the king and the queen that are left over and I usually like to try to again save them for last but also once the other defenses are a little bit protected or a little bit distracted by the balloonian then you can go ahead and drop your heroes and take out those defenses or on the alternative before the uh, balloonian starts to get uh, you know targeted by those defenses you can drop your heroes to draw some fire away from the balloonian so either or depends on the base layout itself and what you are trying to accomplish but here goes the barbarian king and the archer queen so as you can see that that wizard tower would have done pretty decent damage to the minions when they got within range but because the heroes are distracting those outer defenses the the minions can continue to work through the middle portion of the base so you see it's uh, protecting or it's it's distracting that archer tower the archer tower did go down the king's ability was activated i normally would have saved the king's ability a little bit later just to um just to tank a little bit more but overall it was really good and there is the archer queen also um working on the rest of the base as well and when i say tank a little bit more i meant to uh tank for the archer queen a little bit more because the king sprinted to the other defenses i would say that the king should have maybe run in, in tandem or run together with the Archer Queen, not sprint ahead of her because now, you know, now she's off uh, sort of attacking on her own. But had the King sort of stayed with her for a little bit longer, that's more that's more than enough time that the Archer Queen would have sort of attacked the rest of the defenses. So hopefully that makes sense. And then the other cool thing about this base is um, you see that Barbarian King, the altar went down and they're only working on that elixir storage at the moment. So regardless of whether the king is still standing, if the altar is down, watch this. So the elixir storage does go down. The king is very perplexed, confused, and disoriented at the moment. So look at that little question mark above his head. It's still a 100%. I don't think it's a glitch because it's happened to me before. And it, it sort of makes sense because it's total damage in terms of, of buildings destroyed. So think about it like this. If, um, if the clan castle troops got released, on defense and you're attacking that base if you 100% that base but the clan castle troops are still sort of chasing you around the map or there are a few clan castle troops left then it does make sense that you did get that 100% but in any case guys feel free to comment down below if this has happened to you I know it's happened to me and uh, other than that guys before you guys go if you like this video don't forget to like comment favor and subscribe but other than that thanks again for watching guys until next time stay clashy not trashy and keep on clashing on oh. Once again, thank you so much for watching guys, and if you want to see yourself potentially in a future video, you know what to do down below in the comment section. And also don't forget to check out some of the sponsors down below that can help you earn free gems and gift cards. Oh, God. Barbarian. Alright, so first of all, congratulations for making it to the end of this video, and just to reward the people that did follow directions, feel free to tweet me at ClashOnGone. The code word is going to be... Uh, code word is going to be nachos so if you tweet me at clash on gone nachos i'll go ahead and reply back and we'll go ahead and arrange a little clan visit and now since i don't know just how many people did stay to the end of this video i will say limit first five people for now okay bye